In this video, I want to show you uh, an experiment that I've been doing to warm up the voice. And, and I've been learning this actually was taught by uh, an awesome communicator expert that I'm learning from. His name is Bing Yang. I'll put his name on, on the recording, on, on the description of the video so you can get more information about him. He has these really awesome tips that have really, really been working deeply into how I communicate and the possibilities of communicating. And he put this video up the other day about, well, you you know that if you want to strengthen your bicep, the ex the exercise that you're gonna do is is a bicep curl, right? You go like pick something heavy and you you, you do that and repeatedly. Uh, so he put the question like, how do you strengthen your vocal cords, your voice, how do you strengthen it? So this is an ex the exercise that I'm going to show you how to do. This is uh, for ex strengthening your vocal cords and letting them uh, get stronger so that you can have more control of your instrument, the instrument of your voice, what you are capable of doing with this thing that you have here, which is so important for everything that you do. Everything that you do requires uh, communication, requires you to, to use this. Whether you're singing, whether you're speaking, this is huge value. So uh, war, uh, the, the way, the, the, the experiment is five different steps and I'm gonna go one by one. And it's about doing the lip fluttering. Lip flooring goes like this. So the first one you're gonna do for a whole breath, you're gonna do lip flutter without making without sound, without any sound, just like this. And I'm gonna do it three times for three breaths. And then again, and take your time. The total of this experiment will probably be about five minutes. So it's something that you can do at any time. Here goes the second one. And it's important that, that you try to make it flutter. Don't go like, get the lips to, to flap almost as, as low as you can. It works well when your lips are, are wet. So keep getting them wet with your tongue. The second part, that was the first part. No sound, three times. You do it for three breaths. The second one is spurts. spurts. So you're going to go like this. For a whole bread, you go like that in spurts. In this one, you only do one. The third one is constant pitch. This we're gonna do for three times. So this will be, now you're gonna be making a sound.
we did it for three times. Constant pitch. You can find the different ones. I chose a high one in the first and then a lower one in the, the second one and then a bit of lower one the third. It's fine, play with it, but make sure that it stays in one pitch um, at time. The fourth one, you're gonna go uh, from low pitch to high pitch. And you're gonna do that from one time to three times. So you're gonna go something like this. Again. And again. And the last one, the number five, you're going to flip, flip flutter your favorite song. And I chose for this song the... Star Wars song. Remember, it's about relaxing this, this purpose of, of relaxing this, relaxing the throat. When you relax your lips, you relax also the, the throat also relaxes. And you need that relaxation. If, if there is any tension here in the lips, it, it changes the, the sound. It, it can really, really change, make an effect in how, how the sounds are made. So those are the, the five exercises that you can do to strengthen your vocal cords, your sounds, your voice. The first one, three times, three repetition of no sound. The second one, spurts. The third one, constant pitch, three times. Uh, the fourth one, low to high pitch, uh, one to three times. And the fifth one, do your favorite song. And you do that every day for at least for something like three months and you're gonna notice your voice is gonna start changing very radically. So I invite you to, to do this experiment, put an alarm in your phone and get these five minutes in your in your day where you can uh, strengthen your uh, your muscles. And if, it's, if it becomes too much, mm -hmm. you can do one day yes and one day no. So leaving one space in between for, for resting your, from the exercise. That was it for now. And thank you for watching. And I hope you do this experiment. If you do this experiment, let me know. We do all of these kinds of experiments like this in our possibility team meeting, which happens once a week, every week on Tuesdays from 10.30 a.m. to 12. Every day, every week, every Tuesday, Pacific time, uh, we meet and get together to do experiments like this where we come together in a team and we essentially work towards becoming music. This is the name of the space, become music, how you can tune your body and your being to the music that is available and around you and unique to you at all times so that you can express it and be it, become it, sing it and step into that space is an energetic space that is called music and we do this uh, once every week and if you like to join uh, send me a message and i'll send you the details about it it's free and we do it every week
So welcome to join and thank you for watching and until the next time.